Yeah, hello ladies and gentlemen. I'm over here just flipping through the channels. I came across this wrestling channel. I guess it's uh, WCW. I guess it used to be something that was in the past. And when it got shut down, I guess it's reopened. It says somewhere towards October, they plan on going live once again, but I guess this is going to be a fight between, you know, some of uh, from what the commentator said, the following the contest is a six man tag team match. Yeah. Introducing first from Lafayette, Indiana, weighing in at 241 pounds, the legend, the man of a thousand holds, Mike Ross. Yeah, Mike Ross. He's a legend, and he's the man of a thousand holds. So. Well, hey, I mean, he could, he could put you in, he could hold you a thousand different ways. That's weird. I never really got in there wrestling, to be honest with you. Now, the EOC is pretty cool, you know. There's people, you know, fighting and, you know, getting all banged up and whatnot. That's like real fighting. I think this is fake fighting, to be honest with you. That's my opinion, you know. I'm pretty sure, you know, other people in another reality like dressing, but now this, this stuff is dumb, you know. Yeah, I was just flipping to channels and whatnot, but yeah. I went to showcase it to you guys, and uh, my new TV, man. Well, it's not new, I did it for a while, but I found, like, a stick that I could convert to, like, whatever, and uh, I could watch, like, all this nonsense, so, you know. I could control what's going on, you know. I kind of want to, like, skip to the end. I think there's gotta be the main guy. Yeah, let's let's let's, let's watch. I think this is the main guy. Yeah, this is the main attraction. Let's see what this is about. Now I wanna uh, watch about some guy that can hold someone, but this guy seems more promising. I'd probably be behind this guy. What is he? He's the champion for this show? He's got a belt or something? He's the trophy holder? Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, that. Oh, they're throwing the, the fingers in this guy? What does that mean? You want me to look up? Uh, I don't see that up there with the ceiling, guys. Uh, uh, I don't know. And a combined weight of 760 pounds. 700. The bloodline. The bloodline. Uh, they're pretty promising. They're, they're kind of like, they look like they're the main attraction in the show. Like this is this is the number one guy, I guess. Apparently, maybe that's why they threw the, the, the finger. Number one. Yeah. They, or the one guy should say they're the one, or we the ones? So, oh. But they said Bloodline, those are the two guys don't even look like they're related to the guy like that. Okay. I know you guys can't hear the commentator, but I think the commentator just said that the uh, one guy on the left, his name's Carmelo Cook. He was one of the best uh, tag teams here in WCW with uh, his ex-partner, Javon Hall. They were the Midnight Express. Uh, I guess that's his cousin to the side that just got brought here because of the, that guy right there. The animal, the legend uh, killer, better than the WCW one of the champion if they were Lester Hunt, whatever these guys are. They, I guess they're the main attraction. Yeah, that. Yeah. That's a long ass fucking entrance though, to be honest with you. You can see some guys, you know, you know, fake wrestle, but you know, if I was to watch this, you know, I'd probably, you know, be interested in this thing, or whatever they call it, a, a, a team, I guess, friends, uh, but yeah, oh shit. I like the song. Good song. Da -da 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 -da. I can get behind this song. It's kind of got like a 
like a 70 slash 80 bag to it. That belt. Long engine still, but you go. Back. I guess he's like the main attraction, you could say. Yeah, I don't know. They said this is coming live somewhere towards like around like August, November, October, somewhere around there. Damn, Fireworks, yeah, he must get him in a direction. Although I kind of skipped the other guys, but you know, I don't want to watch all the, all the, I don't really, I don't really like wrestling. I just, you know, flipping through the candles in there. This is, this is just like, came with Dark Souls from my hood. Yeah, I'll just give it a watch, you know, to see, but yeah. Oh, Firefly. I guess that must be the person that's, you know, uh, sponsoring me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, shit. Well, fact. Well, let's, uh, get up and whatnot. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Before we do, uh, hey, that's one of the cool things I want to showcase about you. And one cool thing is now all the TVs out here in Chicago are going to work, you know, so... I got some dilemmas that I'm going to discuss on the way, you know, to showcase something. But, you know, I'm going to showcase something right now because this is number two. And then we'll get to number three, which is going to be, you know, some good news and some bad news. But and really not bad news for anything about the server. It's just and the choice of what Mickey is going to be doing. So let's showcase something cool that I got. So when I get my bar in the future, what I can use to, you know, get things and deliver it. This is a Dodge Power Wagon. Oh my god, this thing is pretty slow, but it is pretty sexy, ladies and gentlemen. And then another thing I'm going to get in the future is going to be a script that, uh, I believe I found it on Big Daddy Script, uh, scripts.com, and it's basically what OCRP uses. I'll be able to put, like, bells of hay back there, uh, you know, bells of weed, you know, coke, uh, di different types of objects, you know, besides of doing the T slash, you know, attach for, you know, putting cars or ATVs or anything back there, I'd be able to put, like, other stuff like what they do, so that'd be pretty cool, but let's get in here, and let's yeah, go showcase driving this fire wagon around, you know, let's start it on up. Now, this thing is not really fast, and I don't really care because, you know, this is going to be my delivery vehicle. And I might drive it around time to time in the future, especially if the server starts popping and I'm a civilian, you know. But, you know, obviously, we'll just have to see what happens in the future, you know. But if not, this is, I still own this, and it's mine. It's pretty cool, you know. But yeah, so we're gonna head down to the bar that I once owned in Scott Valley. And as we head down there, I'm gonna, you know, tell you some reasons why something's gonna happen. And then I will go show you a, not, a, not, a, not a permanent, but a temporary solution. For the time being, because there's more things I wanna bring out here to Chicago, so that could definitely change in the future, you know? But this thing is really really nice I mean as I say it's not the fastest I could punch it and it takes a while to you know catch up to speed but you know this is a fire wagon these things weren't really you know meant to go that fast back in the day they, they were actually meant to last long and then they have to you know be repaired every few months and this and that and you can actually you know ride the dog have a lot of it you know for as long as you want you know now another cool mod is we're coming to uh, uh, go talk about what about my bar. I got all of uh, Sandy Shores lit up with street lights, which that is pretty amazing. So now Sandy Shores is lit like a Christmas tree, and it's not even Christmas. But yeah, so now we're gonna be here at my bar. I leave her running and whatnot. Then we'll come in. So as of right now, this is my bar. I mean, 
it gets filled with a lot of people, which I don't mind that it does, you know, because at an RP, I can pretend that I'm serving these people or whatnot, you know. But obviously, you know, there's people in my bar. It variates with, you know, sometimes it being like a lot of more women than men. Sometimes there's some of the older men here in the city shores that, you know, spawn around and whatnot. But you know, this is the downstairs area. It implements some things that the Yellow Jack once had, like if you see like the hanging like bikinis and whatnot, because you know, Yellow Jack is no longer a thing. Obviously up there it's just like some benches, you know, and this is my bar. One cool thing about this bar is, you know, I get the pool script in here, so obviously, you know, if I wanna come set the pool table up, I could just come over here, you know, and I can, you know, set up a game of pool if I wanted to. And play pool. Which at the other bar in Scott Valley, even if they had the pool script, you wouldn't be able to do that here at my bar, you know? So, you know, obviously, another reason why, you know, that this bar is better than the Scott Valley one, because, you know, it just, it, the upstairs ain't Mickey's house anymore, but it just makes, you know, this look so much better, you know? so much better it, it looks like this would actually kind of be a bar that would have probably been put here it's made out of wood you know the trustic you know it's got you know all the uh, bikinis and all that hanging like it would at the yellow jack you know but the reason why we're here is because i'm not going to use this bar now out of rp i could rp that you know someone else you know runs this bar and i still own it but now since i got the tv script we're not gonna, you know, don't get me wrong, that's cool that there's a, another MLO here for my server. And I'm not getting rid of it, I'm definitely going to keep it. But this ain't gonna be the bar that I run, because the bar that I am going to run is actually going to be at the right side of the Yellowjack. Which, that's another mod, which was a really cheap mod, but it just ch changes the Yellowjack and makes it look ten times better. But, I'm gonna change that as my temporary bar now that's not my permanent bar because obviously you know i could find something you know better in the future when i start getting some of the other places and putting them in the server that you know i you know might see you know that it, it it's catching my attention better for that to be my bar but now that i got this tv script in it will make it Hanging out at Mickey's Groovy Hangout a little bit more better, you know, because me personally, I know that, you know, obviously I'm going to have to, you know, play non copyright music, especially if I'm recording. But on my other side of my channel, Region Right Productions, I make lots of beats. So I could just, you know, copy a link of, you know, my, uh, my beats, you know, and I could just play them all, you know, and there you go, there you got it, on my beats, and or I could play NCS, not copyright sounds, you know, but, you know, it just make it better, so when people are there RPing, getting a drink, or some music playing, you know, they could play some pool, some, you know, some nice tunes in the background, but, yeah, so, we're gonna come here to, you know, the bright side of the yellow jack, which is cool, which this would be the new and approved Mickey's, uh, Mickey's Hangout, which would be pretty cool, you know? But, yeah, so, we come in here, what not, you know, obviously, we got a TV right there, it says no signal, because, as I'm aware of, and I'm, I'm not sure if this is 100% correct, I, I got I got to test the theory out when I have my brother, Guy Dammy Danny, the number 02 of the server, the one that's been helping to uh, put money down towards helping develop the server so we can get something of our own and just, you know, try our thing for like a few months, you know, like four or five, six months, you know, and see, you know, we might get people that want to play with us. We might not, but if not this is going to be you know then turned into a 5pd server or whatever our server we could come whenever we want to listen to music play pool you know play darts you know go bowling you know just have fun just me and him you know you know brother stuff you know but obviously this is the bar and whatnot and we'll see 
what the TV's all about and I'm gonna showcase this real quick. So basically this is you know the bar and whatnot. Just like, you know, any pool table. Now there is one MLO that's in Sandy, which is uh, the boathouse bar. It does not have this pool table. So if it doesn't have this pool table and it's designed with a different style of pool table, you know, then obviously you can't play it. But you know, this is a standard GTA pool table that was designed and put here. So you could definitely play you could play the pool here, you know, which is cool. You got a bathroom right there. And you come back here, you got your beer and whatnot, you know. And then that trailer gets replaced with that big, you know, barn area, which really nothing, nothing in there, but it's a place where, you know, I guess the workers that they want to do, they can come back here and park their cars and whatnot, you know. This is the upstairs and whatnot, you know. You got all that wine right there. You got a stripper pole, you know. You got all this other alcohol. You can gamble, you know. You got, like, the manager's office right there with the safe in there, all the money, you know. And then, like, if you want to, like, drink your beers out on the, you know, the, the deck or whatnot, the patio, then you can come over here and drink your beers or whatnot, which, you know, pretty cool. Hey, you're running from the cops, you can just jump off and, you know, start running, you know. <laughs> but, you know. So, obviously, this is not going to be a permanent solution, but this is a temporary solution, so... I, if I find another bar in the future that has a TV where I could play music off of it so you guys could be in here then it will work out now obviously if I was to go back to my vehicle before I put on none other than a song so let's go back inside my bar wagon because obviously I tried doing something differently before before I found out there was a script to get those TVs working and I had like a motorcycle in there or like any type of device that would let me play it so I would do T slash car and then no car and then play and this would pop up which basically then I had like a motorcycle in there and whatnot and I was able to basically kind of do the same function of what the TV does but it was just the mp3 of the YouTube video you know which you know obviously it, it worked until it didn't work because I guess the car play It doesn't like to work inside the buildings that great for some reason. I mean th that's a free version So that could be another reason why but you know Yeah, so obviously we're gonna come over here and let's show you that this TV works because I got to see if the TV's gonna work for my new bar in the future when I open it up, you know, so let's uh Let's uh let's turn it on and let's let's see what's playing. Oh, what's this? That was that firefly guy. Yeah, shit. It's like, woods. No. Oh. Is that someone beat up a car? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, somebody in the time, that, that's what it's promoting? That's kind of weird, fucking okay, okay. well, I wanna promote that, I would, uh, okay, what's that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that was with me and Dickie in Ventura. Wait, wait, what? No, no fucking way. Wait, what? That's, uh, that's, that's when Bites and them took all my clothes off. What the hell? Uh, what the hell? No. Turn up! Turn up! Ah, shit, it won't turn up! The fuck, that, that's when we ran in LA! No fucking way! No, no, you guys, you guys can, you guys can just quit looking at this to turn around. You guys don't need to see this. No, no, quit watching. No, ah, ah, that's ah. They got me on the ah. What the? No, no, come on, come on, come on, man. Yeah, it won't turn off. <laughs> Come on. No. You guys quit watching this. No, you don't need to see this. That was a bad moment. We're not going to talk about this no more. No. No, that was back in the past. That was back in Indiana. No. Come on. Ah. Ah. 
Come on, come on, turn around, turn around. It won't turn around. Ah, fuck, come on. Ah, come on. Come on. Wait, what? How's it still? No, what? No, 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 don't, don't look at that. Ah, uh, uh, no, no. He... Oh, wait, what? Ah, uh, fuck. No. Uh, uh. No one? No, wait, wait a minute. Oh, that's, uh, that's when Dickie rode the lightning. Ah. Uh. Hey, asshole. This shit right here, what the fuck, man? You fucking recording me this whole time? And who the fuck is that? Oh, no, no. Oh, no. You guys didn't see that. No, I didn't murder my wife. That never happened. She died uh, tragically. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. Dickie, Dickie never murdered my son either. He, he died of a car accident. Uh, what, what the hell, man? Oh, wait a minute. Hey, that's Uncle Dave Strzok. But who is this guy? Wait a minute, oh, maybe that was his uh, best friend that died, Billy. Oh, but I'm not happy about you fucking recording me, dude. What the fuck, dude? Ah, shit. What the fuck, man? Fuck. Wait a minute, that's when I delivered to the UW since Scott Valley to the uh, Dickie and me at my bar. Oh, that's, I don't mind you showing that. But the fucking other shit, dude. The fuck? The fuck? Dude. Dude. That's when I didn't pay, you know. You know, the. the, the that's why I didn't pay the bill at the Chinese restaurant. Are you fucking serious, dude? Ah, no, don't, don't watch this, no. Ah. Come on, you showing everyone that I got knocked out? Man, this fire black game is a fucking piece of shit, man. Fuck this guy. I probably, he's probably recording me now, I fucking asshole. Well, fuck you, you motherfucker. Fuck. This is bullshit. Fucking asshole. Well, fuck you. Whatever this fucking guy is, fuck that guy. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Going home. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's where I'm going to end this little showcasing video. I got a new TV script. Now, I'm probably for certain that, you know, if I play TV at one spot, it will not play it at another spot. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm presuming that that's the case. Um, but when I was in the first time testing it, uh, I had one song playing at one place and I left it playing and I left it. When I went to another place it had kind of multiple TVs in there and they all started trying to loading the song and playing it for some reason but you know obviously I left from you know the bar and you know after leaving from the bar I went to you know Mickey's bar that he had in Scott Valley which you know I might RP that I may own that in some way or whatever or you know Maybe since Dave's bar has been taken over by some bikers, you know, that becomes his new bar, you know, whatever, where he likes to drink, you know. But, yeah, so, obviously, um, when I went to the Yellow Jack, he saw that it was, uh, you know, obviously, you know, no signal on the TV, so I'm not for certain if, you know, if it was just that one time and coincidence, but, you know. We're gonna find out going back to Mickey's house. Yeah, are you ready? So we're back, and yeah, I guess, you know, the bar TV, you know, just doesn't interfere, but you know, yeah, shit, I gotta swear that one day I went to another bar and it was trying to play the song from the other bar, and yeah, fuck. Well, you know, let's see what, let's see what else is on TV, you know, um, let's go. Yeah, shit, let's see what's on this channel. Yeah. Hi, Rick. Some some old guy, some guy named Haggard, or is he looking for some guy? Oh oh, 
Oh, he said he's oh. in there shitting. <laughs> oh, what the? You just broke What me? the fuck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the? Oh, and the cop walked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other cop said he thought he thought going in there. <laughs> uh, can I can I hit replay? I want to replay that. <laughs> that, that was funny. Hagrid. So he's looking for his buddy Hagrid. His, Hag his buddy Hagrid's in the bathroom shitting. He walks in. He says, go away, man. I'm, I'm shitty. Oh. Oh. And he's literally shitty. He just broke me. <laughs> and then the guy says, and then, they, and then he just walked out. And then the other guy says, I'm not, I'm not going in there. <laughs> yeah, that, that was funny. Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch some more TV, ladies and gentlemen, and leave until the next showcase of some cool things I have here in Chicago. Later, ladies and gentlemen. But whoever that fucking asshole is, fuck you, fucking piece of shit. Hope you die. Like it recorded me in my fucking worst times and showed the whole world about that. It's none of their business, man. None of their fucking business. But yeah, I'm gonna watch this video again and I'm gonna just call it later. Hey, gentlemen. Later. Have a good one. <laughs> you just broke me. Everything okay? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> <laughs>